Nassim, what are your thoughts on Arthur Young's implications and the reflexive universe that humans are destined to transform into a higher kingdom, a species that is as different from humans as humans are from animals? Mm. Oh, wow, that's a great question. And I think that, I, you know, that this is amazing. Like, you know, people that have <laughs> such, you know, high level of vision, uh, you know, we call them visionaries <laughs> and and to be able to see that um, because, of course, um, of course, a, a civilization that make it pass our little, I mean, I call it our teenager years right now, you know, the the, the teenager year of a, of a society that the, that has technology that's not so refined. So it, it's it's creating problems and, and that's trying to poke into the next level. I think that what Arthur Young was describing there was really this next step that we're about to take, that that's this transformation that we're about to take. And, and, and of course, a society that lives mostly in space because they have capacity to control gravitational field. Just like today we have capacities to control electromagnetic field to produce electricity. It's just a different control of space time. Um, that, that these people are, are able to, uh, to do this will transform the way they live. And as they transform the way they live, and of course they're feeding back information back into the field, their, even their physical form may start to transform. You know, uh, it may not look the same. <laughs> it may change. Um, and, and, and I think what uh, Young was talking about there is that this transformation, like at the deepest level of even like, maybe will eventually turn into a ball of light, you know, <laughs> like that might be the best form for us. Um, you know, if the interface is not requiring our hands on the keyboard anymore, you know, and, and, and so on. So uh, I think uh, I think the visionary uh, people have like talked about this transformation. It was called Nirvana. It was many different things, um, you know, throughout the ages, like masters uh, talked about it. And uh, I, I believe it's it, it's 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 happening. And it's a combination of development of technology and transformation to the level of consciousness so that unification happens um, and and I'm not just talking about technical unification I'm talking about like I said earlier the first step is to unify the human race to the same purpose because then we can solve any issue yeah beautiful